Today's Henny segment brought to you by Louisville Slugger. All right, guys, welcome to this segment. I've been visiting with Trevor, and this is going to be a lights-out segment. Trevor, we're talking about bat speed and ball exit speed. There is a difference between the two, but we got to have both of them, right? Right. All right, you, you guys are, I mean, like I said, I think this product is right on the cusp of being the standard for measuring bat speed. I mean, some of the metrics that you have in there, but you guys have also incorporated a ball exit speed that if you're using a radar gun, that you can incorporate it right into there to build that ultimate baseline swing. Right, we know the harder that you hit the ball, the better chance you have at getting on base and the further the ball can go. Yep, so we're gonna get these guys going. We have a nice little setup here. We're gonna measure the bat speed. We got the exit speed going, we got the video going. Good. Now, the cool thing we have here, we're using the, the pocket radar, the ball coat. It measures the speed that he's actually pitching to as well. He's throwing about 26 miles an hour. We're going to show you how important that is here in just a second. That ball exited off at 55. Now, his bat speed is pretty high, but the exit speed was a little lower because that was more of a pop-up. Wow, he hit that ball good. Look at the exit speed go up as well. Yeah, what we're looking at, that was 69, and he squared up that ball, and you can see that that really created a high exit speed. And he had the same exit speed. So we're getting, if we're getting somewhere around the same as our bat speed, that's pretty good. Right. And that means that our mechanics and things are starting to line up. And then we want to try to start getting our exit speed even greater. And that's as we get stronger and bigger and, and well, more that, precise with our swing. That last one, right. he was 52 with his bat speed and his exit speed was 67. Yep. So. All right, let, let's, let's change up. We got it here just, just the same way that I work it here in my facility. This is for coaches. We take the sensor, we put it into another bat, we have another player jump in there. Right. Let, let, let's visit a little bit with uh, his swing right there. Here we can see the ball was released, and we can see it pick up right here at 27. So that becomes important because we're throwing from about 17, 18 feet. And I'm going to show you a conversion chart here too as well. But, boy, it exited off there at 67. So what does that mean? Well... We saw the same bat speed when we, were, when we were looking at it, all right? So we come over here to about 17 feet, okay? Here's the speed over here. That ball's at 27 miles an hour. So it's mimicking a ball thrown at about 89 miles an hour. That's our reaction time, right. which becomes very important when we're talking about this time to impact. Go ahead, Trevor. Right, and exactly. And kind of what we look at, you know, you're able to um, input that exit speed at 67. Um, and then be able to go back and also see the reaction time. So 0.17 is, is very good. Very good. That kid is a young kid, pretty good with the bat. Absolutely. All right, so we got another hitter in here. Brecken, let's jump in here and see what we got. All right. We see it 26. So, we're, again, we're, we're still mimicking 86, 87 miles an hour. All right. right. There, that's a good – hold on just a second. That, that's a great example. The, the, the ZEP sensor measures right at the barrel. That becomes very important, doesn't it? Right, the sweet spot. Yeah, yeah, the sweet spot because, see, obviously there he got jammed a little bit. We didn't see good exit speed, but the bat speed dropped down too because bat moves a lot slower down there than it does at the head. Right. Okay, all right, go ahead. Good teachable moment there. Wow, look at that, 70 miles an hour. <laughs> right. 51 bat speed. Which goes, there's a lot of potential. That's the kid we just saw a little bit earlier in some episodes, hand speed outstanding. Exactly. And when he squares it up and has things behind it, 70 again. Uh, he, he gets a lot better, and we know he's going to grow and get bigger and stronger. Right. One of the reasons why we wanted to include exit speed into our app was the ability to be able to show in our lab right, let's, reports. Let's trade out. Austin, jump in there. We're going to let Austin finish up here. Our ability to be able to show our most powerful swings. So, so when, when we're building this baseline swing, we jump over here, we have his bat speed, we, we have the hand speed, we have the time to impact. Right. We have the vertical impact. We have that, that attack aim. Right. Dude, those are, his, those are his averages of all the swings. But then the swings that we just tagged, we get to see his top speed and his average speed, but then also the most powerful, so the power score. We call that, that's the difference between your impact bat speed and then the exit speed of the ball. Mm. So we've been seeing some big differences where they're positive 18, 19 miles an hour, which good. is awesome. That's everything coming right. together at the point of contact. Exactly. That's what we want. All right, let's finish up right here with Austin, and let's see what he's got here for us. I'm sure he's going to light this thing up for us. 83 right out of the gate. He didn't even hit that well. All right. So we still see the pitch speed about 26, so we know he's reacting to about 87 to 89 miles an hour. Wow. 85 mile an hour bat speed. 79. 
Okay. Just got underneath that a little bit. Wow. There you go. 87. 87 and 83. So that was his more powerful swing. All right. Let's take a look at one more here. All right. You, you can see there, bat speed, everything dropped. Mechanics dropped out of place. Hey, this, this tells the story, good, bad, or indifferent. You know, you know and we can't argue with the, with the numbers that we're seeing. They still help us become a better hitter. That's great. Wow. All right, let's take a look at Austin, just, just from here. All right, balls pitched, 27 miles an hour. Look, everything looks pretty good there. You, you, you got to think that's ideal. We, we saw with your avatar to 3D where we were able to flip that around, uh, that one ultimate major league swing that you showed with how flat he was in the zone. We're seeing that. I always tell these guys we want to be the best, we mimic the best. And we have uh, swings on here that we can start to mimic and compare our swing to. And we see him just absolutely explode through that ball. That's, that's good stuff. You, you know, Trevor, I, I tell you, man, the more and more we keep tapping into this, it just keeps on opening up more doors. Exit speed, bat speed, swing planes, time to impact. It, it's nothing but tools to help make us a better hitter. It's exciting. All right, great stuff, man. That'll do it here on this segment. We'll see you guys on the next one.